The mists have broken, the shadows gone. Barovia's lament, our final song. Hello, everyone, and welcome to what may very well be. Wait, the last that's episode it. Of Curse of Strahd. That's it. That was the entire that's poem. It. That's what it. What the hell? So we're oh at the end. God. We're in the end game now. <laughs> oh. It's time. Oh, geez. Welcome to what may be the final episode of Curse of Strahd. If not this week, it's probably next week. Uh, we hope you're all well. <laughs> Joining us, I'm your week. dungeon master. Mark Sherlock Humes, and joining me are my lovely friends, as always, of the High Rolls crew. Uh, we've Hello. it's it's been a long road. Um, it's been Getting a long time. From a day to long here. Long. Thanks, thank you, Thomas. Exactly, thank you, Kim. <laughs> Excellent. I'm glad you both yes. finished that. Uh, <laughs> we're going to play some Curse of Strahd. This is our little bonus stream uh, that we've been doing on and off whenever we have the time and, and the inclination uh, during lockdown. Uh, but it's 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 coming to an end. It's time. It's time. Uh, I've got the recap ready to go. You seem pretty confident uh, you're going to kill us off, Mark. Whereas <clears throat> I've been researching for the past week uh, yeah. how to min-max the shit out of Jesper. So come at me, Have bro. You? Oh, wow. Nope. Wow, that's really surprising. <laughs> I thought you spent the last week playing Final Fantasy XIV every anyway, single what night. what announcements have you got, Mark? <laughs> no, <laughs> any announcements, Chris Trott. It's the wonderful thing of Thursdays. No announcements, no sponsors, no messages. Which can just rag on you and make fun of you, really. Um... Go for um, it. Yeah. Get ragging. Get ragging. Rag Tom, with your candid photos, you know, love to see it. Just that candid, yeah, just, easy photography. It just um, happens sometimes, you know? Just happens sometimes. Who, yeah. who the takes picture. the picture? <laughs> got, he's got his phone. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Didn't mean oh. to. Oopsie. <laughs> it just happened like this. Yeah. yeah. I mean, just reading Twitter like this, arm's length. Oh, oh. Yeah, here's but a behind the way, scenes. Not looking at the camera. Yeah. You have to be like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm a um, big fan of that kind of content. <laughs> Kim's doing it. Kim's doing the Kermit the Frog meme there. <laughs> That's none of my business, Sipsty. <laughs> um, so candid. Amazing. Oh, my God. It's like she's not on camera. I know. Uh, yeah. Right. Well, Sorry, I, mean, I didn't realize you guys were there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Just so easy going, aren't we all? Uh, no, it's good. It's. I think that... Uh, we're going to wrap End things it. up End with it. Curse of Strahd. Uh, we're going to take a bit of time, uh, and then we're going to think about what we want to do next. You know, are we just we might focus just on Erois for a bit. We might come and do some little one shots in other systems. We do have some. Actually, one thing—it's not really an announcement. We do have some very cool sponsored stuff coming up for the next mm. few Thursdays oh, we as do. well. Um, we so those are going to be really exciting. I think we can talk about them now, but we'll do like a pr proper tweet and then we'll announce them on Sunday. Um, but yeah, keep an eye out for that. Next couple of Thursdays are going to be uh, some really, really cool sponsored stuff. I think yes. ones that Maybe we're all Tuesday. very, very excited about. Well, Tuesday and Thursdays, <laughs> it's, it's yeah. going to be mm. the next few weeks. There's a You'll lot going on. You'll see the dates. You'll see the dates and time. You'll see the dates. We'll talk about it on, yeah. on Sunday anyway. So, um, cool. Yeah, we're going to do uh, some new fun stuff. Um, but until then, we've got to wrap this whole shebang up. So, what do we say, folks? Play some Cursed Strahd? Let's play some Cursed Strahd. P. As an army of devils descend on Kresk and the abbot's zealous followers, the party flee to the Abbey of St. Markovia for protection. But it is too late. Lord Strahd von Zarevich descends in full battle armor and attempts to finish the party off once and for all. In a desperate battle, the party wield the holy symbol of Ravenkind and the Sun Sword against Strahd, but as his defeat seems near, Strahd explodes with fiery power and begins his chilling symphony of the night. His strength restored and unsheathing a magical dancing sword, he once more begins to assault the party. As they begin to fall one by one, could this be the end of our tragic heroes? Let's find out. Before we get into it, and to stop Chris Trot losing his shit with laughter, I'm going to open this drink. Yeah, Trot. Exclusively. Exclusively. See this shit? Stone faced. Never anyone else. Stone faced. No, um, we already have the initiatives actually. and everything uh, from last week. Uh, the last time, not last week, the last time we played Curse of Strahd. Uh, <laughs> as a quick reminder. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. The thought of not laughing. Made me laugh. 
Oh my god. Did Katie just, just open a can of drink as No, I didn't. Well. No. No, I didn't. Oh. I just took a sip. <laughs> oh we started laughing. It's a delayed response. Wait, it's, Rhee, it's a delay, Rhee was, yeah. Rhee was giving me this look and gone. it really got me. <laughs> the idea of That's it, it, it took nothing. Laugh. It took what nothing. Actual fuck, Tom. <laughs> it was Rhee as well. <laughs> Rhee knew what she was doing. <laughs> yeah, Rhee. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Can't sorry. work in these conditions. I know. Chris Just Rock. terrible. I'm sorry. So <laughs> Rhiannon's crying. Very blown out. We're in about to. We're about to TPK, and Rhiannon's crying standard. with laughter. Standard. 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 Standard, yeah. Day. Yeah. standard, yeah. standard yeah. campaign. Standard Thursday night. <laughs> yeah. Just another um, Thursday. <laughs> to set the scene especially for audio listeners. You are currently in the open grounds of the Abbey of St. Markovia, the, the great abbey kind of rising up behind you as a backdrop. The mountains, you can hear the screams of people and devils fighting and wolves and all sorts of beasts. Um, and you are currently confronted by not just Lord Strahd von Zarevich, but his dancing sword, as well as a shadowy demon-like figure. <laughs> I forgot about the sword. Oh, yeah, God. The sword's super cool, uh, as a point. Best. The sword is super fucking cool. That's the description. <laughs> point taken. Thank you for that. Point taken. Thank super you. Fucking cool. right. The point, <laughs> I mean, the point has been taken mainly by Tom Meyer, who's been stabbed repeatedly by it. Hey. Um, people are currently, we have some people unconscious. Dog's Body and Tom Meyer are both unconscious. Irina, Ismark, Esmeralda, Re Meyer are all very low on hit points with Jesper and Rose really being the only ones with any sort of fighting strength left. Strahd's eyes are aflame with red power. Sunlight is still hurting him, but he, is, he does not appear to be afraid. Uh, he appears to be in a kind of cold, calculated rage um, as he is systemically trying to just wipe you guys out and finish you off. Um, and I think we are going to jump straight in uh, to the top of a brand new round, which I believe is Mr. Jesper. Okay. So I'm currently up in his grill, I believe. Mm -hmm. Just angry. You are. And swiping my sun sword in his general direction. I believe yep. Ismark... You've got Ismark and, I, and uh, Esmeralda next to you. Ismark was choked last episode, and mm -hmm. we left on that. Yeah, he's like being uh, so held up by Strahd. Strahd's got like one hand around his throat and it's just... I know we can't specifically target body parts, but in my mind, yeah. I'm trying to cut yeah, his the arm narrative. off. Yeah, the na narrative. Yeah, narratively, you can still say, I'm aiming to cut his arm off. There's just no game mechanics for it. But so. here comes a nat 20, so that definitely happens. So here we go. I mean, we'll see. I'd love to see it. <clears throat> that is a 28. It was close. I mean, it's, it's nearly... Certainly hits. Um, Strahd does let go of his mark and tries to pull his arm back in time, but the the bright ray of the sun sword will uh, scrape down it and cause this, you know, All right. burning wound. Two handed for this boy. That's a one plus seven, eight radiant damage. Eight points of radiant uh, damage. And then I'll go in for my second attack. I'm just wailing and screaming at this point, just using yeah. every ounce of energy left that oh. Jesper's got. It's, oh. more, it's not that high pitched. Oh. That's only a 13 on the second one to hit. Uh, 13 will not hit. No, he, uh, he he just dodges, kind of like leaning to the side and away from your blows uh, with unnatural speed. Um, Should be adding so. like a secondary dagger attack, but I'm two-handing this, so... I'm yeah, I was going to say, yeah, you're two-handing this sort. A, a dagger, so that is it for Jesper. He is just... The, the red mist has fallen, and he is focused on his task. He, he okay. isn't going to any of the bodies. <laughs> Uh, sounds good. I think at the end of your turn, Jesper, uh, I'm going to have Strahd use one of his legendary actions. And he is going to hum, 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 hum. Yeah, he's going to, um, you watch as Strahd begins to rapidly move so rapidly that his image splits into sort of four versions of himself um, kind of moving and dodging to the side as he <laughs> replicates into four um, dog's body let the kids laugh and I... then I'd like a death saving throw 
need to make a death saving throw. I'm using my special bronze dice. <laughs> <laughs> that was a natural it's one, wasn't it? A one or it's one of the two. <laughs> Point the camera at it. Let, let's have a looky. What is it? It's, it's a, a, it's a 20. 20. Oh! It's a 20. It's a 20. It's a 20. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so. That's twice this campaign hey. that's happened. With dog body as well. With dog so body. Buy there. these dice. Buy them. <laughs> and gripped around the holy symbol of Ravenkind. The flashes of the oath that Dog's body has sworn, and that holy power, the sunlight of the, the symbol of Ravenkind, seems to just infuse into your body. And you are in, in intense pain, but your eyes snap open and you <laughs> take in a breath. Um, it is at the end of your turn, though. Or is it? No, I think it's at the start. The start <laughs> of your turn. We've checked. I, I've corrected myself. People have corrected me on this a number of times. The start of your turn to make the death saving throw. Oh. Okay. So I can still yeah. do actions and stuff? I am constantly told case... that I do this wrong. I'm going to double check it. I'm almost certain that it is at the start of the turn. That so I'm just, pretty sure I'm... Just act as prone, I guess. Yeah, so because and I think that that's the whole point of it, is that if you roll a natural 20, you get to get up and do stuff, right? Interesting. Uh, whenever you start your turn, oh you make a special saving throw. Start the turn. Holy shit. You are at wow. one hit point, okay. dog's body. It's like a whole new game. One hit point. So the temptation is to just either heal myself or just rush in and go for another hit and then go down again. Um, how how messed up does the boy look? The the big bad boy, the big the big baddy bad boy. I mean, Strahd, as you've been fighting him, you wore him the first time you fought him and you wore him down. You could see the sunlight burning him. It's still burning him. Um, the sunlight from the symbol and the sun sword. His wounds aren't healing. He doesn't appear to be he regenerating his wounds anymore. Um, but there is this cold, calculating, uh, calculated sort of uh, method to his attacks. He's very focused. You don't see him limping. There's no physical sign on his body that he is like grossly injured. Um, still seems to be very in, in very capable fighting form. I am going to. Uh, lay on hands for the last 10 hit points that I have. Um, so, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna lay on hands, roll over, touch myself, and um, do that. Yep. That's your do action. That? So you Good still have my, move and bonus moments. action. Bonus action. Searing. Um, Keep in mind, if you stay sense. prone on the ground, he would have advantage to attack you. Okay. If he notices you're um, alive. I, I really wish Radiant Soul was um, a bonus action because I absolutely would burst with angel wings right now. <laughs> mm. um, I will spend my movement to stand up and just stagger up. Um, okay. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, you can see that I'm right now, Strahd is pressed on three sides. You know, Ismark and Esmeralda and Jesper are all attacking him. He's, he's not going to be able to get away and attack you easily. Um, so at least you maybe have a few moments of time before he rushes to engage you again. Um, well, but you can also now see the that there are these oh. part two. four versions of him. Huh? This has got Symphony, Symphony of the Night Part 2. Part 2. Requiem. Symphony of the Night Requiem. <laughs> <laughs> Clip that. That's clippable. Magical. Uh, you can have that one. Right. That's yours. In that case, <laughs> we go to Remeyer and then Tom Meyer. Okie dokie. So it looks like I've got this demon boy right up in my face. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm gonna I'm gonna disengage from this guy as my action, and then make the full use my full movement to get to Dog's body. Okay. So I can get to about. I can get to there. Yep, so you just kind of like scramble up, wait for the demon's uh, attention to be diverted, and then <laughs> sprint away towards Dog's body. Yeah, that's my turn. Thank you, Sean. Mm hmm Hello, friend. Tom Meyer, at the start of your at the start of your turn, a death saving throw is me. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Here we go, baby. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a D twenty. I'm also right next to this demon, and uh, oh my god, that's one fail. That's a failure. Yeah, it's only a twig. Yeah, I'm, I've been dead this entire time anyway. You can barely tell that I'm actually downed. Yep. 
It looks like I'm still fighting. <laughs> <laughs> also, yeah, I am next to the dancing sword and also the demon. Yeah, the demon. Um, well, for his bonus action, Strahd is going to, because uh, he can see you're on the floor unmoving. He raises a hand, flicks his hand backwards, and the dancing sword flies to try and strike Jesper in the back. So it kind of whoosh, uh, whips away from him. Uh, a legendary action. No, this is his turn. Oh, shit. Uh, 25 to hit Jesper. Yeah. That's going to be 10 points of piercing damage plus uh, 16 necrotic damage. As you uh, you feel something like tear into your back and you see like a spray of blood as this sword kind of embeds itself and then pulls itself free of its own volition. Uh, Strahd like whips his fingers around and the sword kind of comes to rest beside him uh, as he does so. He is then, that was his bonus action. Uh. He is going to look at you, Jesper, and kind of sensing this, uh, you know, you can he can see this wound has just been struck to you. He speaks this powerful, dark word in a language you don't know, but you can sense it. And as it does, an intense wave of pain sails one creature within range. Do you have less than 100 hit points, Chris Trot? I have four. <laughs> four left. Yes. Oh. I thought you had uh, more than that when we started. Just stabbed um, me for 26. <laughs> did. I did. Uh, you are... Are you immune to being charmed in any way? I'm not an elf. Nope. Nope. In that case, you are... Not a good uh, elf. Crippled uh, by <laughs> intense pain. Your speed cannot be higher than 10 feet. You have disadvantage on attack rolls, ability checks, saving throws, other then constitution saving throws. You, you, you get constitution th saving throws as normal. Um, and if you want to cast a spell, you must first succeed on a constitution saving throw or the spell uh, fails and is wasted. Um, at the end of your turn, you can make a constitution saving throw to end this effect. Powered pain. Damn. Um, so you just your body is just like racked with pain like as he speaks this word it's almost like fiery mist seems to coil up your arms just like ah, screaming as he does so um he is then going to command uh this demon uh to chase after rose uh who has separated herself from the pack uh i need to bring up the spell that uses this uh where is it Summon Fiend. There we go. So I'm going to have to just roll this manually. Uh, the Demon, at the end of Strahd's turn, will make some attacks against Rose. Uh, so it's going to attempt to uh, kind of claw you with flaming hands, Rose. Uh, that is a ooh, 29 to hit on the first one. Uh, yes. Yeah. I'm not waiting. I know that that is. Uh, the next one is only a 13 to hit. Nope. And then the last one is a, what would that be? 17 to hit. Yes. Okay. So the first two, uh, two of them hit out of the three hit. Uh, this is going to be from the first attack. Do, 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 do. Uh, nine points of fire damage. And then from the second attack, 10 points of fire damage. So <laughs> these flaming claws kind of swipe it as you're, as you're pe uh, backpedaling away and drawing aim with your bow. Um, that is the demon's go. Uh, Irina on her turn, desperately injured. Um, there is not too much she can do. She's got a couple of spells left, I think. very intense combat with lots of moving parts. So. You betcha. <clears throat> Has she got the uh, kill Strahd spell? She does <laughs> not have the kill Strahd spell. Didn't have it prepared? Idiot. She will do, 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 uh, move <laughs> up to you, Maya, and cast a, a whopping first level cure wounds. Hell yeah! Uh, For a grand total of 10 hit points, the Maya. Tom Maya, this bad. is. 
um, and then she will she will just whisper to you uh, as a bardic inspiration so you can add a d6 to an attack roll or saving throw uh she'll just whisper the land could finally be free of him we must end this now there's a little bardic inspiration for you sweet cool and that's a uh, is that on anything any on any roll uh saving throws or attack rolls or ability checks not damage rolls um, right yeah 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 at the end, I keep forgetting about his legendary actions. So at the end of Irina's turn, Strahd is going to take uh, his second, this would be, legendary action. Um, and he's going to command his dancing sword to try and finish off Jasper. Oopsie. 17 to hit. Yep. Well, you're down because that's six points of piercing and then 16 necrotic. Uh, so it just slices you across the back and as you're crippled with pain, thump, you just stumble to the ground. Rose. Hello. Can I, because I am speedy speedy, can I... Mm -hmm run 20 feet without provoking opportunity attack because of Zephyr Strike. You've got Zephyr Strike, so yeah, makes sense. Uh, <laughs> I will uh, heal... Uh, blah, 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 what level? I will give a second level Cure Wounds to Jasper. Hmm. And Very then, advisable because I just realized that power word pain doesn't go away because Jesper's unconscious. So his death saving throws would be at disadvantage. Oh, shit. Um, oh! So 20. 20. <laughs> 20. Okay. 20 and then I can move. Oh. Uh, and then I'm going to. So we just watch on. Rose drive by cure wounds on Jesper's. Drive by heal! <laughs> Heal. The heal. <laughs> uh, hang on, it's I haven't done it yet. Um, ooh, seven. Ooh, I rolled a seven and an eight, though. Uh, so, eight, 15. nine, ten, 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 fifteen, sixty. Wait, what's my. Us wisdom. Seventeen. Nice. Seventeen hit points. This is some giga heals. Does that get rid of power word pain, or is that still a It doesn't point? get rid of power word no, pain. The, power, the pain is still there, but you are conscious. Um, so. Cool. I don't know why I look so blown out in these lights. It's not that bad. I'm, it's not normally this bad. Um, I've just got my I pale strad like visage. Yeah, I just figured you were undead. Yeah, I mean, it's true. Um, Katie, anything else for Rose's turn? Um, I think that's pretty much all I can do this turn. I don't have anything that I can use as a bonus. Okay. Seeing that you are in desperate sort of like agony and pain um, and Strahd is targeting you heavily, Jesper. Um, oh, she doesn't really... She all, she all she can do is she reaches out, touches you on the shoulder um, and you hear her kind of mutter, Vistana, protect this one. And she kind of touches her shoulder. She's going to cast protection from evil and good um, and she's going to choose undead. Uh, so undead basically have disadvantage on attack rolls against you. Um, you can't be charmed, frightened, or possessed. Um, sadly, powered is not power. Pain is not a possession. So, but it means that Strahd would have disadvantage to attack you as long as she's concentrating on this spell. Okay. Um, cool. Seeing that, Strahd backhands Esmeralda as his last like, legendary action. He's just gonna. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Think that you can protect him from me. Uh, two strike. Esmeralda. 14 is not enough, I believe. Her AC is 17. She manages to leap back as his Ooh. hand kind of goes out to strike her and she kind of pulls herself away, drawing her blades up. Um, and then last, but certainly not least, is Mark the Lesser. Yeah. In that tiny maker. Uh, I believe he, in him. Uh, seeing everything going on, like he... he Okay. Oh, man. He knows that his weapon doesn't hurt Strahd as much as a magic weapon. Because he's seen that, right? Like, he's fought him and stuff like that. 
and he sees this flying sword that's been striking Jesper, and I think Ismark yes. is going to try to grab the sword and shove you it in. Do Trump. that? Hell yeah! yeah. I mean, in theory, yeah, the dancing sword doesn't have any stats. I'm basically yes. going to have Ismark make an attack roll. If he if he can grab the sword, then I'll I'll say that he can basically attack with it. Maybe at disadvantage because Strahd's technically controlling it. But I think that this is like Ismark. Would, this is like a cool Ismark thing that Ismark would do. So he's going to try and do that. I believe in Ismark. Um, Ismark. So awesome. make a normal attack roll. He twenty three. He grabs the sword yes. and then he's gonna try and he just, he's normally got three attacks. So I'm gonna give him two attacks. That was one. I'll give him two attacks with the Strahd sword, but at disadvantage. Um, oh, the first one's not gonna hit, sadly. So you can see Strahd is kind of like controlling it, and like Ismark is dragged along the ground by the sword. Um, and then the second one though. Oh, that's not good, Ismark either. Oh, it would have been a hit. If it hadn't been for the disadvantage, so uh, he's like fighting to like bring it back, um, but he's also holding on to it. So it's like I'm so going to say like the dancing. So it's like restrained, right? He, well, I'm going to basically say it has disadvantage to attack anybody that isn't Ismark. Um, Fair enough. <laughs> at this point, because that is the end of the turn, at the beginning of a brand new turn, you hear uh, a slam. I'm going to move these guys off. The doors of the abbey burst open. Um, and emerging from the abbey, you see, I mean, you had want you saw him as a normal mortal man in like nice priestly vestments. What emerges, you know, is the abbot, but it is not mm -hmm. a mortal man. It is a man of radiant, glowing silver skin and light. His hair, like a nebula, a corona of light itself. In one hand, he has half of one of the flying devils uh, that is just dripping blood, and it looks like he is just torn apart with his hands. Um, and he It'll emerges out. And he just turns and begins making his way towards Strahd. And he calls out, he's just like... Villain! Monster! You cannot leave this place! You are not meant to leave this place! You are you are here forever! You are here to be tormented for what you have done! And he kind of screams out, Heroes! Heroes arise! We must finish him! And the abbot is going to cast Mass Cure Wounds on oh. everybody oh. for 22 oh. hit points. Holy 22 oh. hit points on everybody. <laughs> Big Except boy. Esmeralda and Ismark. Uh, he heals all of you and Irina, uh, basically. Yeah, I mean, Ismark's still looking but... rough. Achievement is still at risk. Oh, God, uh, no. Yeah. That's the only thing I want from this game. The risky chief. <laughs> Risky Chief. Uh, he kind of calls this out, and you, and you see like light uh, blossom from his hands and streak out, and all of you, your wounds begin to uh, kind of knit and mend. But Strahd, kind of while he's fighting you guys off because it's his cool bad, bad guy monologue time, just turns, almost seems to like look up in the direction of his castle. You are as much a monster as I am. A fallen angel driven mad by his own disgusting acts. You have only retained your powers because the Dark Mother separated this place from the other planes. But now, dear Abbot, let us see what your gods and celestial brethren think of your little puppet show. You all hear and feel a ripping sensation as if the air itself was being shredded and you look out and the blood red mists that surround Barovia vanish leaving Shit. an endless black abyss screaming from that darkness you begin to see hundreds of souls Barovian souls pulled towards Castle Ravenloft. You watch as the abbot screams in pain. He is engulfed in a golden fire that burns and melts his flesh, and you see red clawed demonic hands pulling up out of the ground and wrapping around his legs and limbs. 
No! No, I only meant to help them! I only made them better! And he is pulled down into the earth as if it crumbles beneath him like a moor consuming him. You begin to see devils crawling out of rips in space. They chase after the abbot's uh, forces, the zealots, killing them. And as they do, their own souls are pulled up and towards Barovia. Strahd looks around at all of you. If you would, would you like to have a round of combat? Would you like to hear more of his monologue? <laughs> I mean, I kind of want to hear more of the monologue, I'll be honest. Yeah. <laughs> this is cool you can tell like, you guys yeah. are stunned. Like, he he yeah. doesn't attack you. So, like, he stops for a moment as if he's, like, holding his actions. Um, and there is this stunned moment where you're all looking around, wondering what the hell is going on, what's happening. Strahd looks at you all. And he almost seems tired. All the souls of Barovia souls sworn to me in ancient pacts from those i liberated in blood and fire their souls and the souls of all their descendants would belong to me this was my bargain with asmodeus for my freedom a price i will gladly pay i tire of this game this endless pattern of death and rebirth, of adventurers and relics and fortune tellers. So I shall not play it any further. Asmodeus is paid in full. And my last key awaits me. The sword whoosh, snaps back into its sheath, yanked out of his mark's grip. And he flies up into the air. Enjoy what time you have. And he begins to fly away. You guys, if you would like to do something, now is the time. I mean, I, I want to definitely try and keep him here and not fly I mean, back. Those of you in melee absolutely get attacks opportunity. He doesn't. He just ignores, like, just flies up. Uh, he will take uh, radiant damage at the start of his turn because he is in sunlight. I forgot to do that. I think Jesper just being brought back to life and then witnessing this would spit blood on the floor and mm -hmm. look up at him and say, I will fight with every fiber of my being for the, for the Vistani, for the Barovians, for my friends. He I just curse looks at you, you Strahd. Oh. I'm going to do a Vistani curse on him. So that's a wisdom saving throw. Plus. Uh, yeah. DC 8 plus... Efficiency plus charisma. So that'd be your spell okay. DC. It's the same same DC as your spell. 14. <laughs> it's not that big. <laughs> it's not bad. I mean, his charisma is going to be super high though, right? Strahd. It's Strahd. You curse him. You feel the power, this bloodline curse of all the Vistana. And Strahd just looks at you like a bored child. Whatever brings you peace in these fleeting moments of your little life. I am done with you, Vistana. Anybody else? Uh, if nobody else, how, Esmeralda how, absolutely shoots a lightning bolt at him. <laughs> I mean, I was, yeah, I was going to try a two, two shots yeah. at him. All right, so hang on, let's go. How so dodge body. Uh, he, at the moment, he's how, like, how a, like literally about to fly away. So we'll say he's like 30 feet. Like, this is all like happening in sort of like the same time. Like, he's, you know. So he's 30 foot up in the air. Yeah, vaguely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if it yeah, helps, okay. I was planning on doing case... a thorn whip, which would probably bring him closer if yeah. that helps. <laughs> if, it, uh, if it succeeds. Yeah, I'm going to hold my. Well, I don't know. Are we still doing initiative order or are we just freestyling it? No, no, it's fine. If you want to let Tom go first, it's fine. I'll, you know, keep things abstract. Yeah. You let me monologue. Because that will uh, change. You let me do I my think. villain monologue, so. <laughs> yeah, sure. okay. Um, sure. All right, in that case, yeah, I'll I've try got, Thorn I, As a point, and... I have two legendary yeah. resistances left uh, as a matter of course, so. Oh, okay, fair enough. Well, whatever. Let's see. Uh, I mean, does try... an 11 hit? 
<laughs> An 11 will not hit. No, unfortunately, oh, he just... The, the dancing sword cuts the, the whip in half before it reaches him. Hey, ignore everything I just did. All right. Uh, Rose or Dog's Body or Maya, uh, Esmeralda's Lightning Bolt. I can do that now if you like. Yeah, sure. I'll go, go for it. Last. All right. Okay. I'll do Esmeralda's last Lightning Bolt. Uh, Strahd has to make a deck save, DC 14. Uh, 17. He does make it. He's going to take half damage. I think he might get everybody. away. So, 14 points of lightning damage as uh, he does dodge Esmeralda's lightning bolt, but it still scorches up like the side of his body. <laughs> Coward! She calls out to him. Um, Rose, do you want to go? Sure. Uh, so, ah, oh, 19, so close to a 20. Uh, 19 plus 9 to hit with my plus 1 arrow. Yep. Hits. Um... Uh, six points of damage on the first shot, plus five points from Slayer's Prey. Just give me the total. So 11 14. for the first. 11. Wait, six plus five, yeah. Oh, six plus five. I think you said nine plus five, yeah. 11. Um, first arrow. The <laughs> second is a natural 20. Nice. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> 19 oh, and 20. God. Yeah. That's insane. God damn. Um, so... Uh, bit, 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 bit. eight, nine, Helen, well, yeah, eight, this isn't like a magic spell damage. flying, by the way. There's no concentration. How much? 14. 14. 14 more points. The two arrows <laughs> thud into him, and the second one, you see Strand like wince. You see him like <clears throat> grunt as he is like peppered in the sky as he's just flying away. Like, it, he kind of went to dismiss you. And now he's now he turns and is actually like protecting himself, and you can begin to see him about to do something. Um, uh, Maya, I'm gonna uh, bonus action cast Hail of Thorns, and I'm gonna take two shots at him. Okay. At level two. Beep, 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 beep. First one's a seven. That's a miss. Second one's a fourteen. Sadly, neither. This time now, after Rose's two arrows, he's much more wary, and he sends the dancing sword out forwards, psh, psh, knocking the two bolts away, even coated in your, like, uh, insects and magic, psh, psh, unable to fully find purchase. All good? You want to go last, right, Dog's Body? Yeah. There's yeah. one more person yeah. to go. <laughs> Ismark pulls oh, out boy. his heavy crossbow. Yeah. Here we go, yeah. baby. This is the one. I believe. I kind of want him to load the wooden stake he got off Esmeralda <laughs> onto the crossbow. Yes. Oh, I mean. Uh, he's not got a very Fuck high it. to attack roll on this, but do you want me to? Like, yes. do you, like, again, like, he's kind of like your yes. NPC, right? Like, I don't want him to be Why too not? cool. Why not? Yes. Okay, I, sure. No, I mean, is so if Ismark wins this, that will be the best that's, result. Yeah. That's the best result. So he that's loads what it we up. want. I'm gonna yeah. wait and I'm gonna wait to see if it hits, and then I'll do a cool line. But he aims it. He's not the best shot. You know this with Ismark. Please, like no, he's a much better cool melee fighter. First. I want cool line first. And no, then I'm not doing it. I'm not. Doing he's a done cool it so many first. times. <laughs> If I roll a natural 20 now, I'm going to fucking lose my mind. I mean... I really hope you do. On. 16. Oh. <gasps> Strahd catches the stake in his hand and snaps it. Oh. Dog's body. I am going to activate Radiant Soul and oh. fly up to Strahd. Unfortunately, Radiant Soul is an action, so I can't do much when I'm there. Okay, but you're next um, to him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, this is where this is where it gets interesting. What is your flying speed, Dog's Body? Uh, it is 30 foot. Okay, yeah, so you're going to have 
one round. Um, he is basically going to, if this was to go into initiative, you would go before him. Um, and then I'm going to tell you now, his flying speed is greater than yours. So you'll get one okay. one round where you're up next to him. You can melee attack him if you want to. He'll then have to basically, you'll, he'll run away so you'll get a, an opportunity attack. But he, you won't be able to catch him because he can go almost triple. He can almost go quadruple your speed because um, he's got 60 feet of normal movement. Plus he can dash. He'll be going like double your speed every turn, basically. Um, and yours, I think your wings okay. only last a minute, right? He can fly indefinitely. So A minute, yeah. 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 So, um, I'm going so to we see Dog's body. First of all, you see this transformation, right? Dog's body. Like, what's that look like? Yeah. So basically, you see me look up, grit my teeth, I drop my axe, pull out the spear, and then I just explode in golden light. And the light lingers, and suddenly, like, they form the outline of these two huge wings. Um, mm -hmm. that sprout from my back and my eyes start glowing gold. Um, mm -hmm. And then I crouch and launch myself into the air and I'm gonna attack with the blood spear and I'm also gonna divine smite uh, at second level spell slot if that hits. Okay. Right. Um, first attack. So first attack is a 17 to hit. 17 to hit. I did forget, I did cast mirror image. But then he cast another concentration spell, actually, so I'd go. Um, okay, so uh, 17 was that total. Mm hmm Just hits him. Just. Yes. Oof. Okay, um, so that is for uh, nine points of spear damage. And then I'm doing Divine Smite at second level, so that's three D8s. Four um, because he's undead. It He's an undead. Yeah, that was my second question. Where did oh, I put shit. my phone so I can get my count? Okay. Um, oh, it's bit boy rolls. Eight plus six plus five plus three, 22. So 22 plus nine. So 31 points total. Damn. Oh, oh plus eight more. Plus eight more because I have radiant damage because of radiant soul. So... That's only once per turn. Of damage. It's only once per turn. It's you only get once that, per turn. Yeah. You watch nice. as Dog's body <laughs> launches up these golden wings and holding the symbol of Ravenloft. And as this spear kind of punches forward, it's like the tip of the spear is glowing with sunlight. He strikes and you see Strahd's breastplate, his full plate armor crack in the middle and this light and he howls. Like again, that similar to when you fought him before he exploded, you, you hear pain, you hear fear. Like, no, not when I am so close. As the light explodes over him. He is still up, oh but that hurt him bad. Um, I have an extra attack, so I'll go again. Yeah, again. 18 plus eight, oh, so shit. 26 to hit. Mm -hmm. It's gonna hit. Hell yeah. Um, I don't believe you get your um, Radiant Soul, but you can Divine Smite. Eight. Plus five, uh, eight plus five, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen on spear damage. Um, and I've only got one, no, I've got a first level spell slot, so that's three d8 to roll. Um, oh, still oh my god, good. seven, seven, so fourteen, uh, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, seventeen points of radiant, uh, extra damage. So that is 13 plus 17 is 30 points of damage. Holy crap. Okay. Nice. I mean, it was like 70 plus damage you just did on one turn. Yeah, it I'm was. I'm very angry. <laughs> that was awesome. Trot, you're going to want to change the music on this. <gasps> what, really? Dog's body streaks <laughs> up like a blazing comet going into the sky. That first strike cracks the armor in his chest. And then Dog's Body, you feel, looking down, seeing your weak allies, the ones that you've sworn this bond to, you feel that strength rising up from them. You see the souls pulling towards Castle Ravenloft. And it gives you that strength. And with a surge, you push forward and Strahd grips the spear trying to hold you back. But something, some external force, some promise, some external strength, you push it through into his chest where his heart would once have been. 
You watch as Strahd's body desperately tries to turn to mist, but the sunlight from both the Sun Sword and the Icon of Ravenloft prevent that mist from forming, burning it away like cinders as Strahd von Zarevich is destroyed. Oh my oh god! Shit, we Kiss did out! Oh, we did it! <laughs> Hell yeah! My beautiful boy! My it all came down. Boy. It all came down to you being earlier sure. in initiative. Like if you were slightly later, he would have just gotten away. Yeah. <laughs> however, we did it. No, however, we won. Oh. Moment of joy lasts for a moment when Dog's body. You think we've done it. I've destroyed him. But the souls still head towards Castle Ravenloft. The devils in greater numbers begin pulling themselves free of these rifts. There is no sign that destroying Strahd has stopped whatever deal he put into place. You see one rift opens up before the group on the ground and two figures emerge from it. <laughs> Wait, this is the worst. You a don't want red, these guys. <laughs> a red-skinned devil with a flaming maw holding a very familiar-looking greatsword and on perched on its shoulder a tiny black and white imp. Xeros and Ziki, you have been told that Lord Asmodeus will promote you to greater demons <laughs> if you bring him the Sun Sword and the Icon of Ravenloft. What you do with this, I leave in your hand. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> what a wow. roller coaster. Hey, hey, Re? Hey Tom. <laughs> I mean, I have a great sword. Mm. You're you're a black and white imp, but I feel yeah. like you're the light and darkness on either side of my shoulder. <laughs> you can be on either side. As a point, promotions. <laughs> you are both still Zero and Ziki. You have all your memories, but you know that you cannot escape your future. You will. You are demons. You are devils now. Promotion. Oh, you just, would you just allow made it worse. You... <laughs> Promotions would Xeros has all his memories. Great, yeah. I want to kill Jesper. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, I mean... In this, well, I'm gonna just give me a second so that Ziki can decide. Promotion <laughs> for Ziki would mean a form that would allow you to return to the mortal world, like a shape changer, like a succubus or a an Irenice or something like that. Xeros, oh, you could become cool. a pit fiend, a greater demon to command armies. Uh, but you are, you still have free choice. You know, especially Xeros, Tom, Zeki wouldn't know this, but Tom, you know what Asmodeus' deal with Strahd was. Oh, you yeah. You know that this, now <laughs> these souls belong to him. Jesper's soul, Ismark's soul, Irina's soul, all belong to Asmodeus now. He gave up all the souls. That's what Strahd's deal was. Mm -hmm. And that deal and was I, completed. I, BT Dubs, I knew this. Like the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my trying to make God. it dramatic, Tom. <laughs> you no, also, I'm just saying. That's the stuff Mark told me ages ago. You all <laughs> both know how to open a portal back to the material plane out of Ravenloft. If you would like to look up your stats, Tom, you are a bearded devil. Uh, with a strength of 18 and he who grins, which is a flaming, which is a plus one flaming greatsword. Ziki, you are just an imp. <laughs> you are literally <laughs> a uh, tiny imp. little imp. Amazing. I mean, the thing is, right, like, Xeros made a pact with Asmodeus, became, like, lawful evil, or whatever it was. He became evil. Uh, the group hated him. And he didn't really like mm -hmm. them that much. <laughs> uh, and now uh, the only person... Oh, and uh, except Dog's Body. Dog's Body's chill. And also sure. looks really cool right now and killed I, Strahd, so I'm into it. I buried you. Um, that's sure. true, but I was dead by then. Uh, so so I, I'll listen to Zeki on this one. 
Don't listen to me. I made really bad decisions. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know you did. <laughs> and I want you to make one more. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. <sighs> On one hand, shape shifting, Irenice, cool thing, potentially. Awesome. I'm into that. On the other hand, <laughs> helping our friends. <laughs> Which would it be? <laughs> I mean, look, you need to get the sun oh, sword. Oh no! And you need to, yeah, the idol. <clears throat> you guys emerge on the ground. Uh, I will. I won't put any tokens, but you vaguely know your position. Dog's body. You are like thirty feet up in the air as they emerge. Uh, the rest of you are kind of still loosely gathered around where Strad was. Um, what do you do, Zero Santiki? You guys definitely have the surprise here. These guys were not expecting for you guys to turn up, so... We have no well, idea. Imagine we just, like, peeking are, right? heads through the portal, just like... I, I would uh... say that all, like, you all recognize He Who Grins, that that sword is unmistakably Xeros's great sword. Um, they also still retain little elements. So, like, the bearded devil, although it's this devil, it has, like, red scales and, like, a flaming mouth. The imp has got these white scales over part of its black body. I'd say that you guys are all smart enough to kind of be like, um... <laughs> And notice who they are. Well, the Maya wouldn't. <laughs> the Maya doesn't. Yeah, that's true. The Maya is just the Maya would just see other demons, other devils who just have appeared. I want to fight but right myself. now. Zeros and Ziki have the advantage in terms of surprise. So, mm. um, well, Bree, we need to get the Sun Sword oh from the party that let us die. <laughs> oh God. Okay. All right, so Maya, so Xeros, I'm sorry. <laughs> Xeros, what are you doing? Attacking? I mean, I'm, I'm walking forwards to, to uh, well, mainly to Jesper, because at the moment, the other thing we need to collect is like 30 feet in the sky. So mm -hmm. I'm going to go for what I know I can get. And uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's towards the Sun Sword. I mean, I'm also holding Zeki, so like... Yeah, Zeki's, Zeki's on, shoulder. on my shoulder. So yeah. like, as I'm walking forwards... <laughs> Giving you a little bit more to decide, time to decide whether or not the sword goes into Jesper or my hand goes out to Jesper to grab the sun sword. <laughs> Which one's it going to be? <laughs> I need to get it. Uh, are you sure this is the right thing? Are you, are you, is this the right thing? Ah! This is how, the how worst. <laughs> oh, I, don't I know mean, what to do. if you're zero, so you've got to do something now because otherwise these guys are going to get a chance to yep. win. So if you want to do anything, it's got to be now. Uh, I am gonna put my hand out. I made a. I know what the deal is. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to put my hand out to Jesper and looking at the sun sword. Okay. This devil just holds its hand out to you, Jesper. When will this end? What are you? What is this? Get back. Demon. The Sun Sword, Jesper. Before I slay you where you stand. He just looks baffled. Wide-eyed at this horrific creature with a smaller creature on his shoulder. He's gonna hold yes, out the... Give it to him. Yes, but just do it. Is this just there'll be no bloodshed? Just do it. I'm sick of this. <laughs> when does it end? <laughs> when will the torment end? I'm done. He's gonna hold out the sword. Okay. Reaching out to the mire, uh, the the demon. Sorry. Okay. And at so the he last holds out the second. Yeah. He's going to oh. try and stab the shit out of this devil. Okay. <laughs> Go for it. Uh, yeah. Is there so any dead? difference, Tom, for your stats? It's all the same AC and hit points, but your attacks, um, instead of a glaive, you have he who grins, which has got a plus two to hit and an extra plus two to damage. 16. And the 2d6 fire. 16's hit. It's a hit. 16 does hit.
Hit me. 15. Sun swordy damage. It's radiant damage. Okay. Uh, does that do more? Oh, does that do more? Doesn't do more, uh, but it, you don't resist it. You've got no resistance to it. You will die once. Right. I will kill you again. And I will... Second attack, 17. Yeah, that hits. And nine points of Sunsword damage. Okay. Okay. All right. Is that all your attacks? At which point, roll initiative. <laughs> Meyer as well. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, well, there's more. There's more to come. 24 for Jesper. Amazing. 13. 13 for Dog's Body. Oh my god, uh, okay. 20. 20 for Rose. Uh, uh this is bad. <laughs> so, I mean, the Maya... The Maya gets like six to their initiative. Uh, Zeros yep. got one. <laughs> wow. Uh, Re Maya. Initiative Yo. for Re Maya. I got 15 for Maya. And then. Okay, and then Imp Ziki. <laughs> and then nine for Imp Ziki. Okay. Well, Jesper, it's your turn. So, like, surprised by, you know, this aggression, this this desperate thing, Xeros is trying to, like, the demon Xeros is trying to pull himself back, but you have the initiative. You were always quicker, always faster than he was. He was strong, but you're quicker. This is like fucking Luke's uh, Skywalker just <laughs> smashing down on Darth Vader. <laughs> <laughs> He's just <laughs> shouting. Curse <laughs> you, Ziki. Uh, Zeros. Not Ziki. Not Ziki. <laughs> that <Zeros>. one. <laughs> the other one. <laughs> Damn you. 15 to hit you. My AC is so low. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> 12 damage. I have, I have 13 AC, just BT dubs. <laughs> this is another 12. Second attack. Yeah. It's a 25. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's a hit. Here comes the damage. Here come the rolls. 14 more. Those are all one-handed uh, damages, by the way, Trot. Oh. It's only a D8. All right. Uh, all right. Well, <laughs> I'm I'm still standing. <laughs> oh, you're still standing. Okay. Uh, well, Working if Jesper's finished, barely. you finished, Jesper? <laughs> yes. Absolutely finished. All right. Rose. Can I take two shots and move my Slayer's Prey to Xeros, please? <laughs> you certainly can, yes. Magic arrows, Jesper's I believe, as well. going for it. And uh, yeah. so Rose is just like, yeah, you know what? Fuck you. <laughs> you, were, you, were, you were not You're good times. Man, I didn't um, realize Asmodeus demoted me hard, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> you started the ground floor. <laughs> uh, 16 to hit. Yeah, and does it do more than two damage? Uh, yeah, it does. Okay. Cool. cool. Xeros explodes in flames. Uh, little Zeke's left kind of flapping in the air. He who grins <laughs> drops to the floor. Uh, the great sword is now on the ground, and Xeros just <laughs> is engulfed. Xeros, you find yourself back in Avernus, and you can feel that Asmodeus is very disappointed in you. I mean, dude, <laughs> give him better tools next time. Like, what the hell, Asmodeus? Oh, maybe you should have struck first. I sent him in there with a first. stick and a rope, and you should have killed <laughs> Asmodeus, people. literally, you hear this kind of voice. <laughs> then next time you will learn to kill first. Shouldn't have listened to Zeke. Uh, nah, Rose, you still have a second Ziki. shot. Uh, <laughs> would you like to kill Imp Zeke? <laughs> I think she'll hold she'll she'll hold a shot to to Imp Ziki and say, How do we end this? You don't know Ziki. <laughs> You're just a little imp. <laughs> little imp. I don't know, I don't know. This is all Xeros's thing. He brought me here. <laughs> oh hey, what what oh, hey, no, hang on. Guy. <laughs> No, let's not pretend that we both didn't make bargains here. You dragged me into was, some shit too. I was in the mist, dude. I was just <laughs> chilling. <laughs> I was in the mist. I'm not the only one that made a bargain, and it saved your life. Broken. Yeah. 
fellowship has broken. Um, <laughs> I'm assuming that. I mean, do you are you guys likely to attack Zeke? Like, because she does look like this pathetic little flappy. I don't fat think ink baby. <laughs> I don't think I'm likely to, but I'm... I am still going to keep a shot loaded. Yeah, yeah. Now. I'm assuming you're all keeping action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zeke, are you going to attack them? I'm going to turn into a rat. Can I turn into a rat? <laughs> yeah. So you just land on the ground, yeah. become a rat, and then scurry away, basically like that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> with this, with this bizarre turn of events that's <laughs> taken place, you can see Ismark and Irina uh, kind of bring themselves over, still heavily injured. You begin to see the dozens of souls being pulled towards Castle Ravenloft, this dark abyss just around Barovia, and you stand there just kind of watching this apocalypse of a plane, of, of everything that you've known in Barovia falling apart. And then you see something you didn't expect, that you don't expect, where you see all of these souls going towards Castle Ravenloft. One soul is coming towards you. You see a figure, kind of faded and, and shadowy, land and as it coalesces from black shadow and darkness it takes on the form of a cat ghostly and spectral but an untouched soul shadow beyond the veil you have been freed of your curse when strad was destroyed you too were destroyed your soul is free and you know your mistress god's death and you may have a way to help them. I, I Rose would immediately uh, run towards Shadow. Okay. Uh, you, I mean, I'll if you go to reach out to her... And just... Yeah. It, you just pass through her. Just spectral. Jesper dismisses his sun sword and just kind of watches from a distance to see if this is another Asmodeus trick to lure us to our mm -hmm. death. <laughs> sure. Um, hello, Rose. You've done it. You killed him. But it's not over. How do we end this? You, I mean, there's no way to end what's happening in Barovia. Barovia's gone. The souls are Asmodeus's now. Ismark, Irina's, Jesper's, the Myers, they will always belong to Asmodeus. When they die, their souls will go to oh. him unless they can find a way to break it. What you can do, okay. Shadow, is offer them a way out of Barovia. Your mistress... Oh. Can provide them passage through a realm called the Shadowfell that is connected to Barovia. And through the Shadowfell, they can return to Faerun. But from then on, to find a way to free them from Asmodeus is up to them. Okay. My mistress sends word. Your friends, Barovian born, their souls now belong to Asmodeus, gifted by Strahd. I point it and look at Jesper, the Maya, everyone who's Barovian. If you die, you will go to the Nine Hells. And as you can see, what has begun here cannot be undone. However, I can give you safe passage from this domain. And maybe, maybe you can find another way to free yourselves from Asmodeus. Will you take my yes. hand and give me my last task of guiding you through the shadows? If we free their souls will that free yours 
Uh, I... your, your soul is safe. Yeah, you, you you were not born in Barovia, and Shah possesses your soul. She, you know, your your mistress will hold it. I am already free, Rose. Your actions against Strahd have set me free. I am now in the hand of my mistress. Good, good. That's the best that I could hope for now. I will find a way to free the rest of the souls. This can't end like this, but any help, please help us get out of here. Is Mark and Irina will come and stand beside you, Rose, putting kind of hands on your shoulders, kind of. We will go with you, Rose. Through all of this, I know I have not been much use, but you have been like a sister to me, to Irina. We go with you anyway. Yes, Rose will put Irina out her hand sort of... to Jesper and Dog's body. <laughs> will you come with us? Herstrad. Curse all of this. But I'll be damned if Asmodeus will control me. I will go, and I will not stop fighting. Always I fully that. intend. I fully intend to free your souls before any of this is over. I'm not giving up. I, uh, I swore an oath to all of you. That oath does not end. I am together with you forever. The Maya. Hey, Re. Hey. Just nod or shake your head. What are you thinking? Go with them? Oh, really? Because I was a hard no, you know? Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> well, let me give you some context. Because the Maya is a different case. The land does have a soul. The Maya has a sentience to it. Whilst you are the bugs and the creatures, you are still connected to Barovia. You can't die in the same way, but whatever Strahd has done, this bargain he has made, there are two outcomes, and you don't know which one is going to happen. As Asmodeus consumes the souls of Barovia, Barovia will no longer exist. It will break, it will fade, it will be turned into primordial chaos and consumed by the dark powers. Or it will live free of people, of vampires, of power. Nature will return here and will dominate. But that future is uncertain. See, I like the sound of both of those. <laughs> Primordial chaos. It's good. No, I just mean, like, the <laughs> creations Rick of Barovia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, creations of Barovia dying alongside Barovia when it crumbles and disappears into nothing. Alternatively, the nature and the land reclaiming, which is exactly what we wanted. Yeah. Well, here's the thing as well. Maybe this is the point where the mire is not one mind. Perhaps there is parts of the living in the land and the creatures that want to survive, and there is part of the land that thinks that its time is done. And this is perhaps, if one is one way and the other is another. In that case, I'll just say... I don't know, that's just an idea. <clears throat> bound by blood and mud and bones, I am Barovia. We are... Barovia. We stay with the land if it falls to chaos or flourishes anew. We cannot join you. I cannot. We cannot join you. I cannot join you. Mother Maya. <laughs> I know, I'm thinking. <laughs> uh... It's been a lot of thinking. <laughs> Jesper's like nodding, but for meta for the audience, there's a speech bubble that comes out of his head and says, good, they're creepy anyway. <laughs> <laughs> the 
souls are gone, yet the bodies still remain, but I feel they should remain in peace. I feel like my work is not done. The souls need peace to rest. We see that the red tendrils of one Maya begin to merge back into the ground, begins to decompose, the fungus breaking apart and falling away. But the land seems to gather green vines. And into one Maya they go, and bugs and insects and weasels and mice and other things flock to it. And Ziki. One stands. One remains. Rat on my shoulder. <laughs> Rat on your shoulder. I was going to say at the end, but I'm glad you're there with me. With us. Rat's out. Dude, hang on. Whoa. I'm going to make a stealth roll for this rat. And I'm going to see. Lul. <laughs> yes. It's, no, it's, 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 it's yeah. a Ziki rat. Yeah. Yeah, oh well. <laughs> But yeah, I, Maya, now not we, Maya, am staying behind uh, the other with the land to see what happens to it, regardless. Okay. And other Maya well. can Maya away in different lands. What, um, Shh, go what does Esmeralda choose to do? Uh, Esmeralda looks up. Well, I think that it has been made clear. We cannot leave things as they are. I was not born in Barovia, though I am Vistana. I don't know if Asmodeus will have control of my soul. But I would like to come with you, help find a way. My old master, Van Richten, he knew much about the Shadowfell, about the domains of dread and the dark powers. He had works in the Library of Candlekeep. Perhaps there we can find some answers to all this. If you would have me, dog's body. Well, you've stopped wanting to kill me, right? I never did. I was merely afraid that you might kill us. But no. Then, we walk together. Not as friends, not yet. But maybe that will come in time. Accomplices. Agreed. She just nods. And Shadow, you lift up your paws and a sphere of darkness, an archway, almost like the folds of a woman's cloak, drift down. And beyond it, you see grey, dead mountains, but it is not Barovia. We watch as you now assembled companions travel through. The woman closes the shroud, leaving Barovia as it is. We watch as the souls pulled into Castle Ravenloft are fed into some great machine, big iron cogs inscribed with glyphs and fiery runes pulled like fuel into it. We hear a voice, a man's voice, but of two voices at once. <laughs> well, Strahd, I look forward to my new abode. And the cogs, the whole castle disappears from Barovia and reappears above a lake of lava and skull-red mountains with a sky that burns. We see armies of devils in strange machines fighting against demons and celestials. We see a city chained above the river Styx. We see 
a moon elf, a man in a green cloak, a ranger aboard a strange vehicle being pursued. Oh my god. And that is where <laughs> we end Curse of Strahd. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. so why, does, yeah. why does everything end in Avernus? So good. <laughs> Avernus is the best. Always oh Avernus. When in doubt, so, end it in Avernus. So, yeah. <laughs> if we go back to Descent to Avernus, now we got to deal with this Raven Loft as well. Oh, I like shit. the fact, though, that it, it would pan and it would see a moon elf. It would see us all. But in our heads down there, if you pan to our part of that camera view, it would just be shit, shit, shit. <laughs> yeah, because we were running. <laughs> running from a dragon and a giant monster yeah. machine chasing yeah. after you. Yeah. It would be the, uh, yeah, the least heroic no thing ever. No idea that this castle just pops into place and is filled with the souls of the damned Barovians. <laughs> Fucking um, hell. So good. God Man, damn. see oh. you. Kim. My role is cinematic universe i'm gonna throw it to kim there i thought he was gonna get back to the castle we'd have another session of you going to the castle yep. another yeah, fight so with strad so fucking I, close I you guys have no idea that was awesome i did like, not, not just that but like that to, katie to hit him connect. twice and did a ton of damage yes but yeah. hit him a bunch of times and did a ton of damage he had 135 hit points when we started this session and i thought i think he's gonna get away here because wow. like i think that like two rounds of combat they're not gonna be able to bring him down and uh I mean, you Kim did like wrong. 70 in that one like jump up celestial How? boy. Well, but also, tonight, man. let's not forget Dog's Body wouldn't have been up, like Dog's Body rolled that natural 20. Like I know that like, you know, the that people that yeah. him, but we would have had to wait another time. Like Dog's Body wouldn't have been up yeah. if it wasn't for that yeah. natural 20. That Ooh, was amazing. insane. Yeah. I amazing can stuff. I genuinely cannot believe that happened. Like, holy crap. When when the character, <clears throat> you know, the character RP is just spot on because you're like, yeah, like he would not nice want to go down that way. The nice note. Like, guys, yeah. guys, 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 How guys, guys. It is Mark. Yeah. A child. <gasps> we, we got, got it! Yes! yes! We did it! And it is it's Mark Rayta. Because I know you've made it. <laughs> You made the trophy, it bring it up. We did it. You got it. You <laughs> kept him alive all the way to the we end. Stayed alive. Are the champions. That's a hundred gamer score, that achievement. It's a hundred gamer score. Yeah, it wasn't oh worth it. It's all, so all I wanted. Um, yeah. I can't no, believe you guys it. Did it. Oh my gosh. How did oh, you guys so cool. so, I love yeah. the way you rounded it off, like as well with like having Zeki and Zeros come back and then have Shadow. Like I thought Zeros. we were gonna have so to that, and do like, some Amosia oh stuff. Like, yeah. So <laughs> that I came up with today, like an hour before we streamed. I was like, oh man, if like so, I had it planned that if Strahd had gone back to Castle Ravenloft, you would have met Zeros and Zeki on the road. Like as you ran to Castle Ravenloft, they basically mm -hmm. appear and are like. Fucking give me the thing, but I obviously I was like, no, I I said that we made him a bearded devil. I'm gonna make him a bearded devil. I knew it was shit. I was like, eh, I didn't realize. See what Tom and Reed do. Yeah, How I shit. didn't realize I got that much of a demotion. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Zeros <laughs> was super cool. This guy underestimated <laughs> how pissed off Jesper would be as well. <laughs> yes, but overestimated yeah. how Jesper powerful I am. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, if Dog's Body had gotten a turn in, I I would have I was thinking like, would I do it? Like, because you know, friends. Dog's Body like yeah. <laughs> It's okay now yeah, though. Ziki like is now one of uh, one of other Maya new Maya's creatures. Uh, so <laughs> just hiding there as a little imp. Rose knows that nice Zeke's there. <laughs> like, no, I mean everyone wrote, like, does. A, but... a, a six to be honest, yeah. I feel oh. like I feel like. Um, Rose probably isn't like, That's oh my god, I want to kill Zeki. She's not like, Zeki was yeah. kind of just an, but he, she she made bad decisions, but she wasn't like evil. Let me throw unlike, a crazy idea people. by you though. What if, if we, and uh, uh, we probably won't, but if we did play like, you know, go back with these characters trying to like resolve everything. I would love it if Tom played a warlock whose pact was Amodius and Zeki was his familiar. <laughs> Like Zeke, so oh, Rhiannon no. had to play the familiar and her own character. <laughs> I got, I got, I've got something to throw out as well. Uh, Zeros, 
may he may he might have been evil, sure, and he made evil choices. But when it's Zeke, it's like, oh no, it's bad decisions. She made bad <laughs> choices. She's not evil. She just made bad choices for a well, heroic I character. I she was led astray. Scar Irina with a sword from hell. <laughs> no, you 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 took all of the nature out of a farmland when you stole that crystal <laughs> and led us all to a giant. And the best thing is, is like. All I had to do was just be like, oh yeah, Rihanna, <laughs> you see the gem in the ground. What do you want to do? You had it's nothing. Just, I just, there I was no it's convincing. Like... <laughs> I think Zeke was evil. There, I said it. Xeros was a Zeke dick for sure. But no, Zeke I don't think Zeke called. was evil. I think Zeke was naive and misguided, but not evil. Yes. Xeros was evil. <laughs> Zeke I was also a dumb. Um, she wanted more power, but she was going the wrong way about it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, absolutely. So obviously, yeah, when Tom made that deal with Asmodeus, I told him the entire plot of Strahd and oh, Asmodeus' yeah. thing. Yeah. He was <laughs> set on that for ages. I had an ink. Um, I mean, he also had a way, if, Zeros, I will, I'm going to point something out. Zeros had a way for you to avoid all of the Barovians going to hell. Uh-huh. Zeros had, had a, way. a way to stop Strahd completely. I mean, I also had a he way also had to a take way control to of the him. entire oh. place. Oh <laughs> yeah. my god! I like this ending better. It leaves it open ended, <laughs> and it creates apocalypse. Ap apocalypse. <laughs> I think Apoc that this ending is probably the best ending for a Curse of Strahd game, where you guys all survived, and you guys, it's kind of bittersweet because it's like, oh, we all survived, but man, fuck Barovia! Like every soul in Barovia is like in hell now, it basically, and it's yeah. tortured. And, where you brought that you know, Strahd back. basically didn't really get his comeuppance; he got destroyed. But that's How it. It's just you, like, Mark. How dare you bring Xeros and Zeke Devil versions back? First of all, I was yeah. like, shit, that's great. I applaud that. Then <laughs> fuck off. Do you do all that shit at the end with the with all of us in an, uh, Avernus and all that crap? Bullshit. Man, this episode had every character in it. Every it single did. character. Mm, every <laughs> like, and a lot of them. Hey, where's Tolshank? <laughs> I appreciate you wanted he, to uh, one up my campaign, but you didn't have to like hundred times it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, no. That's a. That's not entirely fair <laughs> because. You ran that campaign first, and like I obviously took a lot from it. Also, that campaign had other people in it that were very disruptive and purposely <laughs> like fucked over your plans. This is a great <laughs> ending. You also had the worst this, yeah. luck in the world. Um, yeah. I mean, look, yeah, we 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 may have got not got a great ending, but we killed Strahd. Yeah, I'm glad that's you got, like, I think it was a pretty good ending. Awesome ending. Was, no, I I mean yeah. I mean morally, like <laughs> yeah. yeah, like it wasn't. It wasn't the good ending to the game, <laughs> like where we all no, I mean, hold hands and I, walk I, off into the Barovian sunset. Yeah, I'm glad that didn't happen, and then like the skies didn't yeah. clear and all that. Like, yeah, that would have been weird. weird. This is great. Yeah, we well, don't that's how Strahd's meant to end. But it's also like so. There's that. this whole thing. So one thing that like obviously I didn't get to talk to you guys about till now. So and and Tr Trot knows this. Um, when you kill Strahd in the main module, it specifically says that like two months after the adventurers kill Strahd, he just comes back again, and it just repeats. Mm. And so the whole idea was that the and the reason that I killed off Madame Ava and all this, he made the deal with Zemodius is Strahd realized what was happening. He learned that he was just living this constant loop of like being killed coming back, ruling Barovia, being killed, same people, same things happening over and over again. Um, so, and I want to make it clear, this time, when because he made that deal with Asmodeus, he doesn't Broke come back. Cycle, Strahd yeah. is gone forever. He's destroyed completely. Um, his and, and technically, Strahd's soul is in Avernus now, and Asmodeus has got that too. Oh. That's pretty cool. The deal, was for, the deal was for every Barovian soul, and Strahd became Barovian when he became the Lord of Barovia. So, so Asmodeus yeah. basically is the real bad guy. He was the one who's like, ha, 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 I engineered yeah. it all. It's all mine. Love, 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 love. his own little um, hell version of Strahd and is at Ravenloft Castle now. <laughs> yep. Curse of in hell. Yeah, I love him. I love. Nice. I love Asmodeus. It's like it's Asmodeus the best. Cool. I love it. He's, he's you just awesome. love deals and devils. That's what you love. And he just he rocked up early on when uh, Zeros and well when Zeke died basically. <laughs> yeah. Badass. Nice. I couldn't have asked Amazing. for a better yeah. ending. I don't think. I was yeah, so cool. well, I'm glad. I'm, yeah. Thanks for. Um, I'm glad. Thanks for bringing Shadow back as well, so I could have a yeah. little like round off. Oh, of course, yeah. I, I, like, it, but it yeah. made perfect sense that Shadow is the one who can get them out, right? Like Shadow's soul was suddenly mm. free. 
Shadow hates undead and hates like the idea of that being possessed, would want to protect Rose and Jesper and the others. And Shah, mm. uh, Shah's the goddess, would absolutely also be like, yeah, 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 come through the shadow, come come through the shadow, fell. I got you, yeah. I got you. Bring bring your people, yeah. you know. Um, <laughs> so yeah, made made perfect sense. Awesome. Amazing. What are we going to do now? <laughs> now we're going to do a Ian and Tom co-DM'd game. Can you oh, imagine? Good God. Oh, good no. God, no. Uh-oh. <laughs> we Uh-oh. both said the exact same no. thing. Oh, good God, no. <laughs> I'm sad. I want to play in it, Tom and Ree. Um, Maybe it's just, just me run, and run it for and just one Mark. player. Just run the campaign well, like, for Mark. Very honestly, I would like to take a break from doing an extra game. Um, mm-hmm. Just because like doing Knights of Evening Star, doing this, doing Eroes is, is a lot for me. Like I know some refocus. DMs out there can do like three, four games a week, but I can't. But I think what I would like to do is do other tabletop systems. Like we play a lot of D&D, fifth edition. I love it. We're always going to play it. Eroes is, is fifth edition. The next campaign will be fifth edition. There's a lot of really good role-playing games out there. And I would like to show off what Let's they can that. be and what they can do and good stuff. Idea. So yeah. I think I would like to do the stuff like yeah. that. That'd be cool. Um, very different kind of games. Um, mm, it'd be yes. very, very mm. different in style and, and format. Speaking but... of which, you should really tune in to our midweek streams coming up in the next couple of weeks because we are going to be doing that. Yeah, I think yes. people are going to really be a fan of um, one in particular that we're doing, a little two-shot mm. for a brand new TTRPG that's coming out, and I think you're going to really like it. We're all very excited. Yeah. Uh, yep, 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 James yep, yep, yep. watched an entire Not TV show in preparation for it. <laughs> in like I think Trot's days. been re-watching some of it as well. Um, yep. It's a little no tease. Hints of little what tease. It is. Uh, no hints. Yeah. Um, this is a Tom hint, right? Which is basically <laughs> revealing the whole thing. <laughs> Yeah, don't, don't give it because you're the literal worst for giving hints that are just straight up saying what were you do. Um, I mean, Mark said yeah. there's an entire, entire show about it. Jeez. Stop talking he immediately. Well, he, may as, he may as well have just Stop been pointing a big blue arrow at it. <laughs> anyway. Stop talking immediately. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to talk about it on Sunday. They've actually said we can talk about it now, so it's fine. Um, yeah. But we'll, talk, we'll announce it Let's properly on Sunday. see if can guess it from that alone. Yeah, so for oh, yeah, one says it's The Office. <laughs> we're going to do The yeah, Office. The office. Oh, <laughs> gee. That's it's amazing. happening. Oh, God, it's happening. <laughs> I'm, playing oh, a level God. Three, I'm playing a level three Jim Halpert. Yeah. <laughs> And it's, uh, instead of the DM, it's the MS. It's the Michael Scott instead. <laughs> oh no! Anyway, 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 anyway. You will see Tommy. those. You will see those very soon. For now, though, let's You're go the through the actual worst person ever. Let's go through some donations. Ever. We had uh, before this stream even began at one thirty-one today. Crazy twenty nine donated a full ass hundo. Uh, oh, they say, oh wow, a full ass Sunday. Wow, they say clear skies from New York. Thank you for being awesome. Um, I guess you hear this so much from other fans, but you guys got me through so much. I want to hear it more and more and more forever for the rest of my life. It's I have been nice watching since Lightfall, and I just love you guys. Here is a hundred to keep you guys Holy going. Thank, Thank you, you very much, Crizzy. Twenty nine. Very, very, very generous. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Tristian or Tristian 18 with a, a three quarter hundo, $75 dollar dues. Thank you, High Rollers, for bringing wow. joy to all of us. Started watching at the start of the pandemic, and you have all definitely gotten me through it and sparked a new love for DD. Much love to all of you. Thank you very much. <laughs> rock, Rock what was Cube. That? Uh, <laughs> rock Cube has donated. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is Mass wizarding. Effect 3 level of feels. Uh, yeah. Damn. Yeah. Which ending? Uh, that's in, I'm, I'm happy with that. Yeah. Which of the three endings? Bobau yeah, the extended one, right? uh, has Red. donated with, one year ago, I had no interest in D&D at all. Two weeks ago, I DM'd my first campaign. All thanks to you, you bunch hey. of nerds. JK, nice. love you. You're a nerd. Aquamamba. <laughs> Just threw Aquamamba. that one in there. There it, is. Um, there it is. Growing there obsession. Is. Would Aquamamba be in Avernus? Uh, no, he died. He did. Hmm. I don't think he yeah, but soul. I'm trying to think of what Aquamamba's no, alignment so. would be and where he would go when he died. 
He was a multi class of everything. He was truly neutral lawful across evil to everything. Ah, oh, that's true. <laughs> um, obsession. Would have been there. Yeah, they would have been there. Growing obsession oh, Taren, donated with. Taryn is there. <laughs> I had plans for Taryn, by the way. Oh, God. Oh! Wait, did Taryn showed up in uh, Descent to Avernus? Into it, exactly. He showed up in Descent yeah. to Avernus, remember, in the Colosseum at the very end. I was gonna, he was gonna be uh, so did, more involved so did in worthless, that. worthless, kind of. Yeah, well, worthless is like is throwing right. kicker around. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking orca scum, demon scum <laughs> yeah. in the ring. Growing obsession donated with. Oh. I am so emotional. Fantastic job nailing the bittersweet ending that Strahd is meant to be. Mark, have you checked out Van Richten's mm. guide to Ravenloft? If so, what are your thoughts? Uh, do you know what? I've only had a brief glimpse of it. I think Kim's spent more time looking at it than I I've have. Because um, I'm not cover really a horror cover. guy. Like, yeah. yeah, I'm not a horror person. So I only had a quick flick through. I liked it. I thought it was a really cool book from what I could see. Um, but Kim, like, what, you had more, more thoughts on it. I, you have more. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoy the way that they break down horror into all the different genres. So like body mm. horror, um, like cosmic horror, kind of like Cthulhu stuff, s traditional ghosts, you know, vampires, monsters, that kind of thing. So like it kind of really breaks it down that if you want to run a certain type of horror, it gives you a really good guide to doing that. And then some of the domains in it are really, really interesting, like really cool ideas. Um, mm. And there's some really amazing monsters in it too. Um, like they've actually got a stat block for Jiang Shi, which is the Chinese vampire, the Chinese hopping vampire, um, mm -hmm. and yeah, and they've also got a monster called the Boneless, which is quite scary. <laughs> it's horrible. I want to use it. It's great, but yeah, it's a really it's, it's a really, really cool fun module. stuff. I like it. I've taken like I saw that there's some like good horror tropes. Like there's almost like a uh, stat blocks for a kind of serial killer like Ghostface or Freddy Krueger and stuff like that, where you, or like a uh, Texas Chainsaw mm. Massacre kind of guy and stuff. So if you want to have yeah. like a slasher effect and stuff like that, it's pretty cool. And a vagina face. A lot of love in it, yeah. Uh, um, Why churn has donated with <laughs> Rock Me Asmodeus. <laughs> Rock Me Asmodeus. Think. Thank you very much. Nightjar has donated with Sequel, yes, when? Okay, thank you. Trophies will appear at some point, but I cannot process these feelings. All in caps. Thank you very much, Nightjar. <laughs> Bandai Nenzai with a half hundo. Uh, in Dog's Body, we trust. What a finale! All the emotions, the Maya splitting apart, really got me. Loved the Dragon Twins' mm. short return and Shadow. The achievement is safe. All is mostly well. Thank you all so much for this series. Loved it, loved it. Thank you very much, Bandai Nenzai. Generous donation. While I refresh very slowly, Varys has donated with "There better be a continuation." Ismark is still not quite free after all. Uh, redemption of Ismark, anyone? And the others, of course. Anyway, love this series and look forward to see what comes next. Um, you will see what comes next. And if you don't find out soon, that's rough, buddy. Rob with a quarter hundo. Thanks for actually finishing the campaign. Hopefully the pandemic <laughs> craze is gone with Bar 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 Barovia. I don't know why I read it like that. Barovia. Barovia. Thank you very much, Rob. Um, we also had some gifted subs. From White Chan, twenty gifted subs from White Chan. Thank you very wow. much, and ten from Newton Dude. Thank you very much, Great. MK13 Thank Wolf. Um, MK13 Wolf with a quarter hundo in bits. Wait, wait, wait! This is the last one. Then are we going to have an end of campaign wrap up talk? We kind of have, yeah. yeah. And what's next? What are you that? planning after this? Uh, I'll never tell. Just talk about <laughs> it. I get that. Um, I get that reference. Mm. Uh, and oh, I believe yeah. oh, yeah. that is everything. Thank you very much, everybody. Thanks, so, uh, Bingo, Mark, bango, bongo. Mark, 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 <laughs> Mark, was there a possibility if, for Trell to If there are any questions, up? yeah, now is the time to ask them. Sorry, Kim. W Go was on. there a possibility of Trell turning up? In this? No. Mm -hmm. Only in pin form. Okay. Only in pin form, yeah. Available what a now. great segue. Oh. oh, my God. Absolutely not. <laughs> uh, no, no, and uh, like I said in chat, like that's it now. We're never going back to these stories. But you can imagine what happens next, and that's the real you magic of storytelling. It's an inspiration for your own campaign. I create it, right, and then I leave it on the precipice of a cliff, just tipping over, and then I walk away. 
and I never come back to it. You're like <laughs> and Chris move Nolan on to new things. When you spin that little yeah. top and just leave it like that. I think every <laughs> end of campaign is it a dream? Uh, <laughs> every is campaign dream? ending gives you another snippet into the mosaic of this universe. You'll see how the story proceeds. Yeah. I do like how they're in all every tying ending together at the end. Yeah. I mean, a Rois won't. <laughs> I'm going to make that clear now. <laughs> like, all of these stories are separate. Like, this is all like Forgotten Realm stuff, and then all the favorite stuff. Mine. What if Prince yeah. Grat gets together. us there? <laughs> well, it's Grat a different version. That, so that's the. Re this is an actual okay. genuine thing. Eroes is separated because characters like Grats and stuff like that are. It's like a. It's the multi. It's the multiverse, right? If we want to go Marvel with it, like. You know, that's a variant of Graz and that's a variant of whatever and blah blah blah. So if like cool. it's a variant of Thor and stuff like that. So he hasn't Serious gone to the timey wimey stuff yet. Does that mean we can have a Doctor Strange character that like bends the universes to his will. Oh, that'd be amazing. <laughs> Please don't do that. Please don't do Wait, that. So I'm the... <laughs> He's not got the tip. Let them He's separate. The, yeah. <laughs> so I'm the variant Quill where everyone is like, wait, there's a Birdman version of Quill? Amazing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Why is there a bird? Um, Just if you're a variant, that is. You might not be. But yeah. Uh, no, uh, I'm a variant of Peter Quill from Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's uh, just, uh, I, yeah, I, I like the idea that all the Faerun stuff is kind of canonically connected. So, like, all the Faerun stuff we've done. And then Lightfall's characters kind of, like, multiverse hopped into it and were like, hey, we're in this world now. And then they kind of got separated. Um, but I think that uh, Erois I want to kind of keep separate. And there's, there's a canon reason why it's separate and how it's separate. Um, and it's all to do with, uh, with uh, the Genesis well, which I, I think was on a map, but you guys didn't ever talk about. Um. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. You mean we missed a cleverly planned DM secret? No, not a cleverly oh, well. planned DM secret. Um, the, uh, the it, wasn't, it, it, it wasn't really something I expected you guys to find, but it is in the the lore of Erois, uh, you know, mm. stuff. And maybe we'll get there. You'll, you'll get some of it explained uh, later on in the Erois campaign, which, hey, if you don't watch, come watch on Sundays because it's really Yeah, epic. you should. Um, yeah. But that's it. That, that's it. That's it. That, we got nothing. It's the we got end nothing. of Strahd, as we know. Man, it. that's Strahd, baby. Hope it's a very enjoyed. good module. I, um, I will say, if you're yeah. thinking of running a D&D game, Curse of Strahd's a good one. It's a very yes. good pre-written module. It's my favorite. Go on, Cam. It's, it's Cam very Bruce. cool. Um, very cool setting. Yeah. yeah. Especially also, with the new Van Richten's Guide to add stuff as well. I, I got the, mm. the collector's edition one, like, in the coffin. <laughs> Oh, up really there. Vamped. I want that one. Mm. Oh, there is. It's so yeah, cool. Cool. That, that's a paper good version. Book. Paperback. Paperback paper book. But it's up, it's oh, up okay. there. There. Oh, up big there. Boy. Nice. It is big. It is cool. big. Hell yeah. But, yeah. That's Sweet. a good one, though. It's, yeah, it's very cool. There's a reason. And you open it up and there's a picture of Strad, like, as if he's in his coffin. <laughs> it's what do I it's one of those ones where, like, Strahd as a module is repeatedly voted as, like, everyone's favorite pre-written D&D module. I think it's because it's very well done. It's got a very cool, unique sort of, like, tone Strong and vibe theme. to it. But the actual module layout is really good yeah. as well. Like, the locations are distinct, but players can kind of go where they want. But you've got this thing that kind of unites it all together and the Taroka deck and stuff like that makes it work really, really well. Um, the only thing I would ever recommend is... Castle Ravenloft down because it's like eight it's eight boy. maps of dungeon madness. Unless it's they too love much dungeon just... crawling. Oh, no, don't bother. Just it. make sure make sure your players can kill them before he even gets there. Well, that's yeah. mine and Trot's experience. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> in it's one possible. campaign he died on yeah the the hill, and then in mine he died in Kresk. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, that's the way cool. it goes. Cool. Anyway, uh, we'll hey, see grants, you all everyone. Someday. Thanks, friends. Congrats. Well done. Congrats. Congratulations on killing Strahd. Yeah. I Congrats. wasn't expecting it. The squinchiest. Um, oh, was and... I thought Dogsbody was going to die today, so... <laughs> yeah, I thought we all were. I mean, I there was a point were. where I was like, how brutal do I want to be with legendary actions? Because I was like, oh, I could start whacking unconscious people. Uh, there's still some threats. I should deal with them first. And then, bam. Uh, Strahd's ego got better body. for us both. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool. 
Well, we will see you all on Sunday, friends. Thank you very much for joining us for Curse of Strahd. Um, hopefully we'll see you some, soon for some very cool uh, new TTRPGs, some different TTRPGs, uh, going from ooh, all sorts of different worlds and, and genres and all sorts of things that we play. I'm sure I'll squeeze some Star Wars and some sci-fi and some Lord of the Rings or something. We'll squeeze it all in and we'll, we'll play some epic we'll games. do it all. Cool. All right. Yeah. Take we'll care. We'll see you soon for see you next Avatar. Time. This will be the last time you hear the cool <laughs> version of this Curse of Strahd theme by Jack GT Music. So please enjoy. Oh. We'll see you Sunday. Bye, everybody. Bye.